is Martin from Graphy. Um, I just wanted to show you a few tips and tricks on alignments. I know there's been a few uh, conversations on the community page about uh, the best way to align images and I know a couple of people have been struggling. So I'm going to show you. Um, in my opinion, always the best place to start is with a template, if possible. Um, and if you haven't already downloaded them, then it's worth having a look at the event templates because they're absolutely fantastic. And the great thing about them, first of all, they're really cool templates, but secondly, there's 696 to go from. So you, so you can pretty much guarantee you'll have a, a base to start with. Uh, as you can see, there's just literally hundreds of templates to have a play around with and some real wild and wacky ones. So if you, if you can start with templates, that's great, but we're also going to do some without templates. But just to quickly show you, I'm going to drag this one on here. Uh, so this is just a very simple template with kind of four apertures on. Uh, I'm just going to drop some... Um, images in there um, so you can see so I'm, it might even be the same image of dragging just just to get us going maybe there's another landscape down here there we go so we've we've brought some images in so we can see what we're doing so let's say for example on this page I just wanted to have these two um, landscapes and I wanted to actually make this one single image so you'll notice that when when we have any aperture selected, we get the little padlock key. So we just click on it, or we can double uh, right click on it, and that then unlocks this element of the template. So I can press the backspace key and get rid of it, and it's gone. So now I want to make this a, a, a single image, but go down to the bottom of this image. So how do I align it? Well, I just simply again un padlock it, grab the handle at the bottom here, and move it down until we have the blue uh, safety mark, uh, the blue. Uh, smart guides click click in there so now this one's aligned at the bottom now to, just to do a quick check if I don't believe what I'm seeing uh, sometimes it can display slightly differently so over here on our options palette we've got the X and the Y the width and the height so the width and the height is the whatever selected and the X and Y is where it appears on this double page spread so what I'm just going to do is normally the black button in the center is highlighted uh, this little black dot and it tells us that the X and the Y center of this image is at those coordinates but if I just want to check something very quickly to see for example if this one is aligned at the bottom to this one I simply move the black dot to the bottom like that and we're looking at this coordinate here so if I just flip between the two you can see that 291.5 219.5 is the same so we know that they're aligned now if I want to be sure that it's not going to jump or move around if I now right click or command click I can relock this this now, and if I wanted to, I could also save it as a new template. So that's all aligned, and, and it's quite easy when you've got an existing template to work with. So what about if there isn't a template? So what I'm going to do now is just add a new page, and I want to create a grid or kind of uh, several images on the same page. I'm just going to change it to photographic paper. So how do we go about that? So if I uh, grab just one image up. So now, let's say uh, this beautiful image by Yvant, and I'm going to make it a bit smaller so I can get the images on on the um, on the page. So I'll make it a bit smaller if I could get my fingers to work. Okay, maybe something around this size here. So instead of kind of dragging loads of different images on, what I'm actually going to do is uh, copy this image uh, and then paste it. The reason I'm doing this is I know that the images are going to be all exactly the same size and then we'll just drop another image over the top in a second. So I'll get them kind of roughly where I want them. Over here. And you can see that the, the, the kind of the blue um, smart guide is, is trying to help us click into place. So this is a trick. If you I've, I've aligned the first one to the safety margin, as you can see. So I'm going to select it. If I hold down the shift key now and select the other images, I can now go to this button over here um, that says distribute the spacings. So I can distribute the spacing, the horizontal spacings, so they're now all equal. And actually, what I'm going to do is just click off that and take a bit more space up and press the shift key again. And distribute the spacings like that. That's a bit better. And also, I'm going to align them across the vertical centers as well. So they're all still selected, so now they're all aligned. So if I click off, I can see. And again, I can do what I did before just to check them. I can select one of the images. I go to the move it to the top because I'm going to look at the coordinate across the top. And if I just flick across them, I can see that that's 19.64 across the whole. So they're all aligned. And then it would be really good practice 
to, to kind of select them and start to lock them. So it applies a padlock. So you know that they're not going to move once they're in place. So I'm going to do the same down the down the side here. So it's still on my clipboard uh, what I copied and pasted. So I'm just going to create some more copies like this. And kind of get a roughly in, in, in place like this. And then again, select. Actually, what we need to do is anchor this one as well so it doesn't move it. So we've got that one in place now. But then use a shift key, select them all. I'm going to align the, the vertical space. Sorry, this button here. So they're all aligned vertically. And I'm also, uh, the space in between them is the same. And now I'm going to align them across the horizontal centers so they're all in the same place. So now if you will we have a grid because all I need to do now is copy and paste uh, some more images in and then just drag them down and as they come into alignment with the top and the bottom there and you can see it actually looks like it moves or jumps sometimes but it's actually moving it into place rather than that out of uh, place like that and then three more Paste, paste, paste. Like this, so again, it can be a little bit uh, delicate, but the great thing, of course, is that once we've done this once, we can save this uh, layout as a template and never have to do it again. So we, we, we always have it in our template, personal template library. Come on, there we go. And the last couple, three, so paste, paste, paste. So press the bottom here, and the last two. Now, if I wanted to, I'd spend some time kind of locking them all into space, but I'm not going to do just for the purposes of the demonstration. So there you go, we've got a grid. Uh, stroke line, if I wanted to add a stroke line, I just simply select one of them. I'm going to give it a stroke line of, of half, so 0 0.5, press the return key. So now we've got a, a nice thin stroke line on this image here. So I just select it again and go to this button here now and apply uh, the border of all the, of the selected items to all the images on the page. There we go. They've all now got stroke lines and of course now I just can save this as a template. Uh, one of the things to bear in mind when you are aligning images is in the settings over here, there is this pop-out menu that says include thickness or exclude. Now I use the exclude uh, border thickness when I'm checking the coordinates of images. So if I just change down, you'll see in this case, these are all aligned because the X coordinate, which is in this palette over here, as I run down the images, you can see, I'm going to take it from the left-hand side, the number will stay exactly the same, 94. And if I went across them that way, it would be across the um, Y coordinate across the tops or the bottoms of whichever I want to do. So that's that's kind of um, how we align things. It's quite easy, and once you get the hang of it, and as I say, the, the key then is to save this as a template. So I go back to my templates, go to personal, uh, let's give it a name, save it as a double page. Multi. There we go. And it'll appear down here at the bottom. So the next time I need to do it, I just simply drag it up. And it's all aligned for me. It's got my stroke line, and then it's just a matter of dragging the images in. And of course, these are all the same images, but to replace them, we just simply drag the images in over the top, like this. And there we go. Hope that helps.